today I want to talk about three ways to become more successful as a projector. Now it's early here and I'm in Joshua Tree, California and I've got an incredible view behind me of mountains. Uh, everywhere I look I've got snow-capped mountains and I went to do a video with that as the background and the light just wasn't right because it's the sun's coming up so I've decided to come to this door here. I actually found out this door yesterday was used to be a door from the band of Kiss, someone in Kiss, their home door or something like that. Um, so that was very interesting. They've done it up a little bit but apparently it's a famous door. I found out from the jacuzzi guy uh, who came around yesterday to to clean the jacuzzi here and uh, that's what he told me. So. I'm currently here in Joshua Tree. I'm here for six weeks with Sarah and we're in a bit of a projector retreat mode, retreat vibe. There's a cold plunge, there's a sauna, there's an incredible view. And as projectors, we're here to be successful. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean financially successful. This is a feeling of success. This is a contentment. And for many of us, that would include financial success. But it's going to be ultimately a flow that you're moving through life. And there's an abundance of when you need something, it's provided. So ultimately, we need to connect to life, something far greater than our minds, and that's why we have so much openness in our projector soul and our projector spirit. It's to hollow ourselves out so that a greater energy, a greater force can come through us and guide us. And when we're being guided from that place, success is right there because the synchronicities, the invitations, the recognition, it all syncs up in almost like a symphony as we move through life. So it's fascinating as a projector um, growing up what I felt like success was and the way I went about success and the way I've deconditioned and unwound a lot of these beliefs and a lot of these patterns within my mind, within my body to come into a completely different energy, a different frequency, a different vibration. So three ways that you can move into projector success. One of the ways that I very much recommend is to understand that everything flows and a week, seven days has a rhythm and a flow. Every song you listen to has a rhythm. If you go to New York City in America, the first time I went there, I stepped out of Grand Central Station and the rhythm, the pace that everyone was talking, that everyone was walking, was almost like watching a video on 1.25 speed. The rhythm's actually faster there. Now, I've also been to Hawaii multiple times. The rhythm in Hawaii is like watching a video on 0.75 speed, for example. Places have rhythms, music has rhythms, and people have rhythms. Projectors have a rhythm. Now, we can't sustain 100% rhythm every day, every day, every day. If you're having coffee, if you're having stimulants and you're trying to go, there will be a payoff, there will be a burnout, there will be, it will catch up because we don't wake up every day with this capacity over and over and over again. Yet we can work with the rhythm of a week, for example, and we can move in bursts. We can feel that. You will feel at times there will be bursts of energy and you'll feel that, that you'll need to slow down. At times you'll want to move at 1.25, at times you'll want to move at 0.75. Very important for projectors to know how to let go and move at 0.75 speed. This is important. This can do with you know relaxation, slowing down, meditation, breath work, yoga, all these things. But going back to the rhythm of a week, setting your week up where you consciously know that, okay, 
Monday to Thursday, maybe there's, uh, maybe I am taking more powerful action as a projector. And you can feel that and you can give yourself permission to do that, not from a fear based, stressed pattern, but from an embodied, grounded, powerful way moving through the day. And then it's like, okay, on Friday, I know I consciously slow down. And so the rhythm slows down and you create a pattern throughout the week. And this is up to you how you create this. But you need to start to work with the cycles within your own system to sync up to the timing within your own system, with the energetic patterns within your own system. And you need to have the ability to, yes, be powerful and take powerful action. And at the same time, to slow down. And to, in that slowing down, often success really comes in those moments. For example, the projector movement was birthed when I was on an island, Gili Air, in Bali, uh, just off Bali. And I was there with a best friend and I was slowing down and I had a dream. And I was guided to make a video on the beach and sharing and that was the birth of the projector movement it happened when i was slowing right down now as most of you probably know projectors are here to be successful so that's when you're in alignment you will be successful so this is a very important area important topic that you start to align yourself with and start to understand the patterns that run through your system and how to align yourself to your truth so that life can line up and reward you for becoming yourself. If you're not yourself, life's going to resist, it's going to reject, it's going to force you back and it, you're going to feel like this, you know, you're pushing a boulder up a hill. So the first one is get in flow with the weekly patterns and the energetic patterns and create something consciously that works for you. The second thing is structure. So to be successful as a projector, our energy is so open. We're so absorbing of other people's energy. We can get pushed here, pulled here, open here. It's We need to have containment as projectors. We need to contain our energy. We can do this through a morning routine. We can do this through structure throughout the day. Also what I said in the first one, creating a structure, a weekly structure. These are all structured patterns, more masculine. This holds the creativity. This holds the feminine energy. This holds the projector essence, which is very brilliant, which is very magnetic, which is very wise and intelligent. And But it needs containment. You know, someone that doesn't have containment could be a, a broke artist who is you know, amazing at painting and oh, so much wisdom and so much creativity, yet they don't have the structures, they're not contained, so they're not successful. Because this world is a balance of masculine, feminine. It's, it's a balance of if you go to get a glass of water, the water is the actual magic that you consume, that gives you energy, that gives you life, yet there's a cup that contains the water a cup is very important so whether that's a morning routine whether that's uh, a structured a structure to your day whether that's waking up and doing the most important thing first whether that's you know whatever it is for you but creating a structure is very very important the third thing is in the metaphor of the water it's the water so it's the creativity, the flow, the relaxation, the openness, the receptiveness, the receiving. So it's more of the feminine essence. And how do we do that? Well, if you create a week and you create one day that's specifically designed to slow down, to open, to relax, to receive. When I was in Bali, I was slowing down I was feeling very abundant and I received a vision. Now, this is important because if you just go, 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 pushing, forcing, initiating as a projector, 
You're not going to be able to receive the invitations, receive abundance, receive the magnetism, you know, draw people in. You're not going to be able to do that if you don't have that energetic framework in your own system. So this is very, very important. Creating time throughout the week, throughout the day to open yourself up. Now, if you're a specific type of projector, let's say a mental projector, or even a self-projected projector. Maybe you want to spend time journaling. That could be a very beautiful time for you to receive your own words, receive your own essence, receive your own thoughts. If you are, let's say, a ego projector, you could do something that you really, really desire, you know, half a day. What, what do you just really desire? That's nothing to do with getting anything done. It's like, Maybe you have, I'm just making it up, a, a very expensive cafe, coffee shop, and a coffee is $8, and you're like, I, I never get that. But, you know, once a week, you're like, I'm going to get that. I really desire that. Or maybe it's a massage. I really desire that. Go for that and receive in that way. If you're a splenic projector, like myself, maybe it's nature. Getting out into nature more, you know, as I said, as I look out here, it's, it's incredible. I can see hundreds of mountains, uh, snow-capped mountains, Joshua trees. It brings me into my body, it brings me into my instincts, it brings me into my, my splenic intuition, being out in nature. I saw a couple of coyotes the other day. They're very uh, instinctual animals. If you're an emotional projector, uh, obviously getting in your emotions, um, doing Vipassana meditation, slowing down, going within your, yourself, going in within the body, this could be important, creating time for meditation, taking your awareness inside the body so you can sync up and know your emotional wave, you can feel your wave. These are all really important and this is more of the receptive nature to finding success as a projector hopefully these three tips help you to find more success you will need to take action in these you will need to create structure in these you will need to open your chest with these and open your heart and receive and become magnetic connect to something greater than yourself and these are just some little insights that you can take away hopefully into your life and start to create more success. There'll be a link below. We do have a success training. Um, and something else that I'm contemplating doing, uh, if you feel a resonance, if you feel aligned, uh, I would be open to working with one or two people on their business, on actually creating more success um, within their life, but also within their business. And I have the gate 57 intuitive clarity, so I work quite intuitively as well. Uh, but if this is of interest to you, feel free to email the projector movement, projector movement at gmail.com, and just have the title as and or note for Charlie Re success, and just share with me a little bit about where you're at and what you're desiring. And uh, yeah, we'll see if it syncs up. But Anyway, hopefully these three tips uh, really help you in your business because if we're in fear as projectors and we're absorbing the current frequency of the world and the people around us, we can really lose track, we can get off um, and it can be quite painful, it can be a lot of bitterness, there can be a lot of challenge, uh, burnout, all these things and we all deserve to feel uh, to feel good we deserve to feel abundant we deserve to feel successful as projectors and now is the time to begin to move into that the, the energetics of the world is allowing that to happen for us projectors more and more so many blessings on your journey and goodbye for now